and our flag. Remotely close. So these are some jalapenos that we've been growing. Did you grow them? I did. I'm making a hot sauce. A, a fermented hot sauce. What you do is you ferment them. See how it's got like the kind of scars? I read that the more scars, the hotter it is. How many peppers do you think I've got? I don't know. I knew this was gonna be an issue. For how many? I'm gonna guess. I think I got like 23. I was gonna go 22. Once they turn red, if you cut the seeds out and dry them, you can plant them. Put them in. Oops. Just kill the rosemary with a pepper. I just smell basil from you eating the basil plant. <laughs> you want some basil? Done. Let's do it. It looks like something you get from a store. We grew this in Alaska. We made this. What was your pepper guess? 22. What I guess? 23. Come on, 22, 23, 24. All right. This and one that guy. Count. This one might not count. 23. Ah, oh, he's still Look, pretty. 22 and 7 eighths. Yeah, that's like 22 and a half. Duh. That's a fair result, I guess, right? Yeah. So what's going to happen here uh, is these are going to be fermented by bacteria. The salt keeps all the bad bacteria from, you know, living. The bacteria we want does like salt, or at least tolerates it. Lactobacillus. I think that's the one that's in yogurt and stuff, too. Because that's the one that's good for your, um, your... Poop. You don't think of peppers as being sugary, but they have natural sugars in them. That bacteria eats those and makes lactic acid, and lactic acid is what gives you the, the sourness. That's why sauerkraut tastes the way it does. Sour. Ta-da! Learn! Do you want to wear gloves? I don't want to go to the bathroom and touch my ooh la and... yeah. Those are some tight gloves. Don't worry. I'm I think we had a bigger pair. See yeah. that sound? I don't like it. Okay, just <laughs> do your job. Uh, pull most of the seeds out. I'm not going to be like super duper picky because you don't really that have was to wet. be. Why was it wet? Ooh, I smell them already. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, that was a lot of seeds you left in that one. I told you I'm not going to be super picky. It's obviously really low standards. Who's making the hot sauce here, huh? I'm quality control. Wow. Controlling. <laughs> what other facts do we know about peppers? It's... Pepper plants are self-pollinating. All you gotta do to make sure the flowers make fruit is you grab your plant and you shake them around a bit. The a, a chili, uh, when you, the, like a, it's something about Dried green chili, green ch or red chili, the dried red chilies, green poblanos that ripen, something like that. Fact. Peppers chopped, sort of de-seeded. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. Oh boy, now what? I'm gonna pepper okay. and garlic. Hold on. Come on, you chef. I need you. Oh, this is getting bad. So you're not gonna put this in either, right? No, I'll edit this out. Don't worry about it. Yes. Two garlic cloves. Squish them. A little bit of onion. Oh, not done me. Get the skins out, you big dope. Now I need the salt. Watch this. <laughs> this is uh, this is homemade sea salt. If you haven't watched the other video, make some salt. You usually do the salt based on percent of weight. Between two and five percent salt. Uh, I'm gonna do three percent today because. Oh, perfect. 250 grams of pepper. I put it at, I don't know, 350. 1% would be three and a half grams. I want to do three percent, so at nine, ten, ten and a half grams of salt. Okay. That's 64. Well, so we're like three and a bit percent of salt. That's fine. Once I put this in the jar, we just kind of let it sit for a week or two or three. So you want to get everything under the brine. The brine is what's going to protect it from, you know, mold. We want bacteria that are fermenting, not this gross stuff on the surface that can get all fluffy and nasty. I'm going to need a little bit more water and a little bit more salt. Ooh, we made hot sauce. Well, we're making hot sauce. <laughs> now we wait. Good night, sweet <laughs> hot sauce. Good evening. What? Hot sauce. That actually looks sweet. Look at that. It's been <clears throat> a week or two. Just check how long Chet's hair is now compared to earlier. Stop. It's the same as last time. 
bacteria in there were eating stuff and farting away and making uh, little bubbles in there. So what's the next part of the process? Blend it. All of it? Yeah. Look at those I'm gonna guys. sniff it. Ooh. How does it smell? It almost smells like I'll get you drunk. Oh yeah, it's definitely got a twang. Secretly, this isn't hot sauce, it's hooch. <laughs> I'm gonna go with one little... Oh, I'm kind of nervous. Why? This was such a time commitment. Growing the peppers right, and then letting they, um, them ferment. And it... What could the worst thing happen be besides English? <laughs> Let's do it. It's fine, hold on. I can't put too much. I might have made it too thin. Yeah. Okay. Don't breathe that. That's so pretty. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> wow. It still smells hoochie. That's pretty spicy. It's not bad though. It's not bad spice. Sure. <coughs> <coughs> Should I blend it more? No! <laughs> Safety glasses should be required. <laughs> Got a bottle for the sauce. Ta da! <laughs> Not bad. Uh, we don't have a funnel. No. I made a funnel. Do you know how adult it is to say that you have the good scissors? So your mom sent us good scissors. Yeah, buddy. Look, though. <laughs> Glamour shot it. <laughs> Hi. Time to put the hot sauce to the test. So I'm gonna make some wings, and then I'm gonna put my sauce up against Frank's. What are you trying to? We're gonna be able to tell the difference, but I'm not. Right. They're both gonna be good. What's the question? I don't understand what we're putting to the test. What's better? Like one actually tastes like peppers, and one tastes like. I'm making two batches of wings. How do you recommend cooking wings? Oh, there's not time in this video for that. You're not even going to just give them a little tidbit <laughs> of info? You're going to cut this all out? Probably. <laughs> a lot of wings. How many are you going to eat? Probably most of them. Alright, see them later for not a taste test. The way you're making it sound is like... It's a competition. It's not a competition. It's totally a competition. <laughs> oh, aren't those beautiful? Ow, hot. Listen. You can tell it's crispy, it's got some nice color. Since this has vinegar in it, this doesn't. I'm gonna put a little bit of vinegar. Mm -hmm. Ooh, spicy. I think it's good, it's just not gonna be the same on hot wings. It's, it's just not hot wing sauce. Or it comes better on wings. Dang it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the bowl's too small, you're using my wing bowl for your bread. Well, tomorrow's a big day for me! So I'm like, Midget tossing my wings. You can't say that word. Uh, my range is limited. I'll tell you which ones look prettier. Ooh. Oh god, <laughs> not the plate. Oh, oh. god. <laughs> okay, so. Wait, you gotta you gotta make it nice. Generally, we enjoy our wings with champagne, but. Somebody got pregnant. So it's apple champagne, apple bubble. People want to know what we do with <laughs> our lives. <laughs> Somebody cares. All 19 people that watch these videos. To finally be done with this video. Cheers. So we started yeah. this when I wasn't pregnant, yeah. and now I'm six months pregnant. Truth. It's kind of like, why bother? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to sway your opinion. You're setting it up for failure. There's just not enough flavor. If you were nothing. eating eggs, it would be delicious. You should have done an egg test, not a wing test. I just wanted to eat wings. <laughs> I want to eat eggs. Yep, that's the exact reaction I had. <laughs> Time for a Frank's flapper. You see? That's good. That's what I was hoping that we'd make. Set your goals high. Takeaway from this video is gonna be by Frank's. Frank's Red Hot sponsor us. <laughs>